As always, if you find these videos useful, please click the like button for the video itself and subscribe to our channel. If you subscribe, click the bell to be notified of new videos. In this video, we will provide an overview of the various options users have with respect to reporting in Microsoft Dynamics 365. For individual reporting how-to videos, please keep an eye out for our upcoming expert series. From the perspective of this video, we'll be using a relatively loose definition of the word reporting, which can mean different things to different people, depending on perspective and objectives. In this video, we refer to a report as any graphical or tabular display of information of data that is resident in Microsoft Dynamics 365. We will cover the following topics as they apply to the concept of reporting. Dashboards, the advanced find tool, views, and even Excel, one-click document generation, the report wizard, SQL Server Reporting Services, otherwise known as SSRS, and Power BI. Let's start with dashboards. In Microsoft Dynamics 365, dashboards can be used to display graphical as well as tabular information in whatever context you as the user requires, since dashboards can generally be created by anyone who uses the system. Dashboards are also useful because a single dashboard can represent up to six different types of information on a single page. As you can see, some people could interpret this screen as four separate tabular reports and two graphical reports, such that very specific sets of information are presented separately and in a certain context. What's more, native dashboards in Microsoft Dynamics 365 are actually interactive. What I mean by that is that I can click on any element of any of these charts to answer a specific question about the underlying data. As an example, if I'm curious about the 58 leads that reside in the state of Washington, I can click on the dark blue chart component that represents those 58 leads and ask the simple question as to which cities they are from. Furthermore, I can continue to drill down and look at the leads in Seattle and ask the question as to the lead sources of these leads. Thus, it's possible to investigate your data using interactive charts in Dynamics 365. And we would contend that this is, in fact, a powerful method of reporting about your data. Another reporting tool in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement system is a powerful query tool known as Advanced Find. Using this method, you can create queries against your database, then configure the columns to be returned by the results of your query, and generate what amounts to a two-dimensional set of data that consists of rows of information related to one or more entities in the system. This tool is accessed by clicking the funnel icon at the top right of the screen. This presents an interface where you first select the entity that you'll be querying against using the look for choice field. Once you've chosen that, you can then select a field as part of your criteria. The field can exist on either the target entity or on any entity related to the target entity. And as you can see, I'm searching on all leads in the state of Washington where the lead source is either web or partner. Now the results of my query show a list of records. If I want to add columns, I return to the Advanced Find Query and click Add Columns, and you can see that I can add a column to the results of the query, any number of columns for that matter. Finally, I can click Save As and then save the query for later use by naming it. This stays in the system and can be used over and over and over again and modified if necessary. What's more, if I click Results, you can see that I can click Export to Excel. Now this tool allows me to prepare Excel spreadsheets for my data in Microsoft Dynamics, which can then be distributed and even enhanced with pivot tables or charts in Excel. This is also a very useful form of reporting and widely used by Microsoft Dynamics 365 users. Next on the list, is known as one-click document generation. This is a relatively recent feature in Microsoft Dynamics 365, and it provides the ability to use a Word document as a template, which is uploaded to the system. And that template is configured to pull specific fields from the database to be populated automatically as a downloadable Word document, which can then be distributed. 
Now the platform itself provides several pre-configured templates. For instance, here you can see that I'm making use of the one-click quote template in order to produce a quote from Microsoft Dynamics 365 that I could download as a Word document. However, perhaps the most valuable aspect of this feature is that you can create your own template from scratch and decide precisely what you wish to pull out of the database and then format the Word document to your liking. Once the document is populated with your data and is downloaded, it can be further formatted or manipulated as needed. It can be distributed as a Word document or converted to and distributed as a PDF. The one-click document generation works on virtually all of the entities in the system. Let's talk about the report wizard next. The report wizard is a reporting option that is native to Microsoft Dynamics 365 and has been a feature since the very beginning. There are, as you can see here, uh, 25 or so canned reports that are provided by default. To access these canned reports, you just simply click reports on the left navigation. This provides a list of reports that Microsoft has helpfully created for us. Running such a report is as simple as clicking on the link and clicking run report. As you can see, this summarization report provides metrics as to the effectiveness of the various lead sources. Now, revenue reports such as these are based on the opportunity entity and comparing it to the source of the original lead. You can create your own report in this section simply by clicking New at the top of the page, which will then start a sort of wizard experience where you walk through a process to create the report, hence the name Report Wizard. Now, there are two key differences between Report Wizard reports and the Advanced Find tool, which we discussed earlier. First, these types of reports provide two entities to query simultaneously, whereas the Advanced Find tool only provides one basic target entity. Secondly, these type of reports allow for grouping, summarization, like counting records, and summing numerical data. Advanced find results, by contrast, are strictly two-dimensional and do not support summarization, counting of records, or grouping unless the data is exported into Excel in which then you would apply those kinds of features. Another advantage of these types of reports is that they can be distributed in a variety of formats. And as you can see, there are a healthy number of ways you can export and share the results of these types of reports. Moving up the ladder of complexity, let's discuss SQL Server Reporting Services Reports, or SSRS. This is an especially powerful method of reporting, and it provides queries that are much more complex than either the Advanced Find or the Report Wizard, and the results can be much more comprehensive and flexible. You can also use programmatic formulas built into the report to manipulate data as the report is run. As a matter of fact, the lead source effectiveness report that I showed earlier is actually such a report. It's an SSRS report that was developed by Microsoft and provided as a canned report. In this report, the percentage columns that you see here are calculated when the report is run. There are no fields in Microsoft Dynamics that represent these data points. These are calculated by the report itself. Now there are a couple of important points regarding SSR reports that you should know. The first is that the development of SSRS reporting is actually a highly skilled practice. It's usually assigned to software developers and they use special development tools and platforms such as Visual Studio and add-ons that are specialized for Microsoft Dynamics. Secondly, SSRS reports for Microsoft Dynamics 365 online use what is known as fetch XML, not direct SQL queries against the underlying database itself. Now this doesn't greatly impact the functionality of SSRS reporting, but it should be kept in mind and it's something to discuss with your developer as well as figured into your enterprise level reporting choices. Ultimately SSRS can be extremely powerful, it's just a little bit complex for many users. One of the most Recent reporting developments in Microsoft Dynamics 365 
is the use of the very popular reporting platform known as Power BI, or Power Business Intelligence. Now, this is a Microsoft subscription service, and it also includes a set of software tools that provide reporting for a wide range of platforms and data sources. With Microsoft Dynamics 365 really as only one of those many possible data sources. These data sources can be combined. What I mean by that is that it's possible to provide dashboards and reports drawing from Microsoft Dynamics data, but also other data sources that may or not be directly related to Microsoft Dynamics in the same report. Another benefit of using Power BI is that the platform provides a rich set of data presentation interfaces, various widgets to provide meaningful and interactive sets of information. Now, Power BI consists of two major components. First, the Power BI desktop. Now, that's a desktop software that is downloaded and used to create reports from various data sources as we discussed. The other component is the Power BI service. Now that's a cloud-based presentation platform where reports that are developed with the Power BI desktop can be uploaded, surfaced, and shared in the cloud as standalone interactive reports as well as reports that are embedded in dashboards. Reports from the Power BI service itself can be embedded directly in Microsoft Dynamics 365 dashboards as well. And this is something that uh, you can keep in mind and factor into your software usage and license planning as well. In this video, we've discussed the major methods of reporting available to subscribers of Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement, which consists of customer service and sales. If you have further questions about Microsoft Dynamics reporting, please feel free to reach out to us at netwoven.com.